Who made the who made the call first? Trent to you or you? Yeah, <laughs> uh, you know I. Uh, I guess I could kind of tell. I sent Trent a text, you know, after kind of the news had broke of, of what was going on here. And, and, and the text was not really about me coming back. It was more like, I appreciate what you guys have done for our alma mater. And, and that's all it was. And, and uh, I, you know, I had to get ready for my game. And, and Trent goes, hey, I, I'm going to try to get this. Do you want to come? And I was thinking, yeah. I mean, this is this place is special to us. Um, and so that's that's kind of how it started, and and you, you never know, right? I mean, you don't know what the search firm's going to do, what 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 um, the athletic you know department's going to do, and and so we talked again on Sunday, and, and he's like, hey, I think I got a real shot, and I said, okay, well, look, I'm on board, man. You got to ask my wife, and he kind of got mad at me, and 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 my wife and Trent are are, are friends, so uh, kind of caught him off guard, and we laughed, and and I said, yeah, Trent, I, I, there's. When you go through this life, you, you, and especially in coaching, you have personal friends and you have, you know, professional friends, and, and thankfully, Coach Bray is is both of those, right? We 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 talk about there's blood, sweat, and tears on this field together. We were college roommates at one point, and then we we won some games together, and then as we've gotten into it, I mean, his his him and his dad are kind of big reasons why I got into the profession. So have an opportunity to come back and serve him. I mean, it's to say a dream come true is is the, is the reality. Um, I was married here in town. I shoot my wedding reception. I rented out Research Stadium back in 2013. So, uh, you know, I, I told my guys, it's, it's. I'm not taking this thing for granted. You know, yeah, Coach Bray is a very good friend of mine, but that makes me work that much harder. And they know that. You're, you're taking over for a coach that was pretty beloved by his position. Yeah. yeah. What, what's that transition been like, and how have you approached you know, working with these guys? Yeah, I, I've known Coach Mahalchek for for a long time, and, and the success that they've had, especially in the recent, you know, last three years, has, has been good. And it kind of you know, in a lot of ways, makes my job easier, all right? It, it, because the standard has been set. Like Josh Gray, who you guys just spoke to, has done a great job of holding everybody to that standard. And I don't have to come in and and be that guy. Okay, this is how we're going to do it. This is the expectation. All these things. It's like, no, you guys are going to continue to do what we've done and or what you guys have done. And and so that that part's been been kind of easy. I'm different than Jim, obviously. Um, I'm younger. I always tell them that I'm better looking, all those things. But not as loud. Uh, yeah, not as loud. So th there's things that I'll do differently. But yet, I I've watched Jim for a long time, and, and I've I replaced him. There's one guy removed between us, between he and I at Arizona. So I know what they've done. So there's a lot of things that are similar. There's there's some things that are different that we're doing now, and and uh, so I want to continue that and, and continue to build the relationship. I think that's what makes you know all really good old line coaches special is a relationship with their players so that was my job really through December and January and February is build that relationship build that trust and, and I think it's, it's building now over time and, and uh, so it's, it's, it's easy but yeah it's hard because of how much love they've had for the guy. Does it, does it help that you played here and you know where all the good restaurants are in town yeah. that's what old Lyman that's it, what old Lyman yeah. it's, it's food. Yeah it helps in recruiting the, the hard part is when you train like, I just got into my house so it's like you know, it's hard for me to have uh, you know the guys over which we will do and so you know I'm gonna I'm gonna buy him a bunch of food on Saturday uh, but it is you, you, the breaking bread is, is important for offense linemen other position I've been to receiver uh, get-togethers and they, they they don't eat like old linemen I was kind of shocked so but we'll break bread and, and we'll, we'll enjoy it I think them knowing that and I don't talk about my past that you know a lot I, I don't want them to think that I'm what we did was better what we did was worse and but they know that that I am an alum and my successes and what we've done as when I was here right it, it's a legacy and I want them to understand that we are playing for you know really the, the 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 name on the front the name on the back and then everybody that's come before you and there's a standard that needs to be upheld so if you want to play old line for us right physicality is, is that's the price of admission. If you want to play O-line for the Beavers, you got to be physical. And we talk about being smart, fast, and physical uh, all the time. So um, continue to build that and keep going. Yeah. What's well, it like having so many Oregon State alums on this coaching staff? <laughs> it's, it's good. It, 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 like I said, it helps in recruiting. Uh, it helps with some fami familiar, familiar, familiarity. Is that you? Yeah, that's right. All right. Um, and, and we've all had different times in our life. We've all kind of been together. Um, you know, when we got in, I was a GA, and, and Coach Bray was a GA, and you know, I was like the the lowest of the GAs. And Gundy's in the recruiting, the personnel side, and 
and Keith had just left. And so then I go to USC, I was with Keith. I was a GA at USC in, in 2014 with Coach Hayward. And so there's, there, we have, you know, these times in our lives, we were at different places and, and but there is a, a relationship all driven from this place. And, and when I was a player, Keith was a GA. So it's, it's fun and, and we all kind of bring some um, different experiences and expertises and, and I've been blessed to, in O-line to be in the spread world, the tempo world, the, the pro style world. And it's, I've kind of done it all. So learning from Coach Gunderson, there's things that he does that are different and unique. There's things that I've done that are different and unique. And we're kind of, you know, meshing it all together right now. And, and so it's it's been a lot of fun. I, and I think part, you know, part of the reason I want to come back, right? Yes, it was Coach Bray and, and that relationship. But it was also, you know, Trent made a comment to me. He goes, I want it to be fun. And I think that's what it's been. When we come in the building, I don't dread coming in the building because I think if you come in the building and you don't like your job, you're not going to be very good at it. If you're a player and you don't like coming around, you don't like the people you're around, you're not going to be a very good player. So I think every day I come in with a smile on my face. I enjoy the people I'm around. And, and then, you know, and then on Fridays, I get to go dress for a baseball game. It's pretty cool. <laughs> what have been your general impressions of the, of the talent? Yeah, I, I think it's been good. We got we got a lot of young guys. You know, the the, the thing that that you know Coach Mahalchek had was was um, older guys, right? That have been through his system and have done it his way for a long time. And I think that continuity right, paid dividends this past season, uh, running the ball. Past two seasons, running the ball and protecting the quarterback. And we have guys that have kind of been in the wings a little bit. You know, you have your your Grant Starks and your Jacob Strands that have played, but yet you know. Totley's not coming out of the game very often, you know. So uh, Josh Gray wasn't coming out of the game very often. They got they got a taste of it. So we have some guys that have been in the wings that are ready to come out and show us what they have. So you know, there's the the cupboard's not bare. We got a lot of young guys that have some experience, and, we, and that's what spring ball is about: get them, getting them those experiences and those looks and those reactions, and then continuing to build on that. And, and Josh is a, a a big piece of what we're going to do moving forward. <laughs> he, he, he was good. He, he doesn't. He eats better. He actually eats vegetables now. He was a very <laughs> simple eater. He not. Me- I, I will say this: not messy. He just kind of sits in the same spot, watches the same TV shows, and whether you know it's Seinfeld, King of Queens. But uh, we we enjoy- I enjoyed it. It, it. it was fun. What's that been like going back? Or going back now and having some It's been good. And, and, I, and I told you know I think that's the biggest. I think that's one of the hardest things where. You, know, you have these relationships and friendships, and then yet, yeah, Trent and Coach Bray is the boss, and, and I'm very into it. I've been an associate head coach, I've been a GA, and, and I always look at if I said, Trent, you're not gonna have to yell at me. You tell me to do something, I'm gonna do it. Like I'm, I'm I told my guys, I'm the epitome of a soldier. Like if Coach Bray wants me to do something, whatever it is, I will do it. And I think that's something that I've shown him over the last three months. Like, you know, the first night he he asked me to go to study, I said, yeah, I'll be there. Thinking. Well, this is what our GAs. Do. It doesn't matter to me. I'm going to do whatever coach says, and I think the loyalty and who I am as a person is going to help him because he's not going to have to, you know, continue to be over my shoulder, continue to look at me, and I'm going to work pretty hard for him. I know he's he's more of a defensive line. But yeah. Did he have a vision of what he wants his offensive line to look like? Yeah, he does. He, he, yeah, I think he has a vision for the offense and the offensive line. You know. Obviously, he's built what we're what we're doing defensively. He he has been the the constructor of it, right? And Coach Hayward knows that, and they they're running. Coach Hayward's bought some some wrinkles to it. I, I you know, it, it is fun being around him and everything he does offensively. He wants to challenge the defense. So especially when we got here and we're trying we're getting the offense together, and and he'd be Coach Bray would be around me and Gundy all the time, and and Gundy would be, hey, is this hard on the defense? And he would explain no or yes, and it was kind of it was really insightful to us, like. God, I always thought that was hard. You're telling me it's easy for you guys? Shoot, I don't want to do that anymore. Um, and he comes, he's come to my meetings. You know, it's it's pretty cool. I, I, I've been around a lot of head coaches or quarterback guys. Coach Bray is really the first coach that's been in my meeting, like, and sat through the entire thing. So it, it was neat. Um, but he has a vision of, look, we want to run the ball first. We want to spread the defense out. We want to spread it out. We want to go fast. We want to go fast. And we want to be able to line up and, you know, what's, what, what has been great here, under center and run the ball. And, and so we're going to do all of that. And I think being able to open up the game a little bit is, is going to be good for our guys. You know, um, Damian Martinez doesn't have to make three guys miss every play to have success. We can spread people out and get them away from them. So, um, and then we can bring everything in tight. So, you know, 
he had the vision of bringing in Gunderson in this in this system, and then he had a vision because he's seen me in different phases and different places in my life and knew I'd be able to adapt to it. Do you have a vision of being a head coach someday? Uh, I, I do. That's kind of been the, the goal, right? I, I, I've gotten into this thing, and I've had, you know, this previous year at Charlotte, I've had a lot of responsibilities and things that of, of the head coach's job, and it's it's been fun. I do, I do want to be in that position one day, but right now I'm focused on – being the best um, soldier for Coach Bray and being the best O-line coach. and But I enjoy when he comes and talks to me about scheduling and and things when I can turn my O-line brain off and think more philosophical and big picture. I, I enjoy that a lot. We good? Thanks, guys.